It is, it's beautiful. We have three females. Contrary to popular belief, I do know the difference. Invalid destination, invalid species. Why are you stressed? Everything is stressed all of a sudden. Who is suffering around here? Uh, hello? Where are you going? This episode has just been absolutely nuts. And so here we find ourselves with the bare essentials. Oh, once again, I love the play on words. Panda Park. Panda Park is Bernard Goodwin's newest zoo built from the ground up to celebrate the panda in all its forms. This park represents unparalleled opportunity to show the world just how much the Goodwin Foundation knows about breeding animals on the cusp of endangerment, so don't squander it. Let's go ahead and hop right in. What a beautiful location. Ah, oh, pandas. <laughs> They're my daughter's favorite animal. <laughs> I think it's fair to say that if ever there was an animal which has captured the public's imagination, it's pandas. Oh, but did you know, thanks to the incredible conservation work that's being done in China and around the world, pandas are no longer endangered. <laughs> Amazing! That said, they're still considered vulnerable. So, this zoo is extraordinarily lucky and honored to be part of that conservation effort. Welcome to China. This is Bernie's brand new panda celebration zoo. So new, in fact, that it's not quite finished. But we'll deal with that later. First, let's take a tour of the zoo. I would love to take a tour of the zoo, actually. There was a few locations that I really wanted to look at to see exactly how they constructed and things of that nature. Look at that. That's very cool. The sprinkler. And yes, we're supposed to be zooming over there, and we will in just a moment. Come right down in here and take a look. Look at the paths. I love the paths. I love the fencing that they did around the paths. Sprinkler system is nice. I love that. All right. Enough looking around, though. Apparently, we need to start right over here. Obviously, the giant pandas are the main attraction for this zoo, and luckily for us, we have one which was born just a few days ago. Let's go and have a look at it. Oh, doesn't it just warm the cockles of your heart? So cute! It is, it's beautiful. Did you know that giant pandas, or Ailuropoda merinaluca, for being formal, are the only entirely herbivorous bears? They can actually eat up to 38 kilos of bamboo a day. Oh no. I just got word from one of our keepers that a sable antelope was placed into a habitat without going through quarantine first and that they're displaying signs of disease. We'll have to move them into quarantine to stop the infection from spreading to the other animals. Oh no, we have an infected animal in our zoo. Okay, so bye-bye for now, Lin Lin. All right, so let's take a look and see where this infected animal is. It's gonna be right over here. And we need to find the one that is sick. Oh, okay, it's gonna be over here. I was, I was definitely in the right enclosure. I just can't find the antelope. Are you okay? Good. Now click move and then transfer them into quarantine. We'll click on move and then zoom out. And our quarantine facility is way over here. We need to quarantine them. That's a relief. Now that we've stopped the infection from spreading any further, we need to build a vet surgery so the antelope can be treated and then return to his habitat. Okay, we will. We'll head right on over. And this is where it needs to be built. In order built. to build a vet surgery, click on facilities, staff facilities, and then vet surgeries. And they've already given us a blueprint, so we will just utilize the blueprint that they've given us. Go ahead and lift it up, kind of get it in the right place so it's not looking too crazy and right about there should be good that's the job vet surgeries play a very important role in a zoo as they're the only places that vets can treat the animals hmm. yes diseases can spread through a habitat quite easily especially if the water inside it isn't being cleaned regularly as it happens I just got a report that one of our water treatment facilities has broken down and the water in the flamingo and saltwater crocodile habitats has gotten dirty. And that is a very serious issue. I guess we'll leave our uh, our antelope here in the capable hands of our veterinarian and we would need to go ahead and take a look at that. Oh, okay, it's right across the street here. Click on the water treatment facility to bring up its information panel. It's broken. Yes, I don't think you need a degree in mechanics to tell that this thing's thoroughly banjaxed. Click call mechanic to get them to come over and fix it for us. Good work. Now that the water treatment facility has been repaired, the water will be cleaned up in two shakes of a lamb's tail. 
Now, I'll be honest, I'm still a little worried about that disease scare we had, so I think we should do some research into it. I'd like you to start some research into border telosis. All right, and we need to research border telosis, I believe is how she pronounced that. We'll put Sherry Schaefer on the case. Lovely job. Once that research is complete, I expect we'll send that disease packing in no time. And we've unlocked a new item. Whew, that was a close run thing with those antelopes. <laughs> I dread to think what might have happened if you hadn't got them into quarantine as quickly as you did. Fast thinking there. Right. Now that we've got all our urgent tasks in the hand, we can start to focus on the guests and improving their time in the park. I've highlighted the workshop for you, so head over there, select it, and then click on View Workshop. All right, so we're going to head on down in here, click on the workshop, and View Research. And finally, assign a mechanic to research souvenir shops by dragging and dropping them onto it. I can't wait to see what they come up with. And we'll take Vincente Braswell and we will have him research the veneer shops. Stuff. That research will take a little while, so let's have a look at something else in the meantime. Because we've had some good news. We have another baby panda? What do we have? What do we have? Do we have another baby panda? It turns out that we're allowed to adopt more giant pandas. The authorities have given us three females to help with our breeding program. Our current giant panda habitat is full to the brim, but luckily we've already got another habitat ready to go. But before we move our new pandas in, they'll need to go through quarantine. Of course, we can't do that until we've accepted them. So open up Animal Trading and go into the Animal Reward section. All right, so we were uh, we will go ahead and we have three females. These are females. Contrary to popular belief, I do know the difference. I'm just dumb sometimes. So we will go ahead and transfer all three of these females into the animal storage for now, into quarantine. Finally, we can send them from animal storage to quarantine. We've already done it, thank you. While we wait for them to clear quarantine, you should set up their new habitat so they feel at home in there. I'll also need you to bring over one of the male pandas from our other habitat, because without him, we're not going to have much of a breeding program, are we? <laughs> so go on, move him over and get everything set up for your pandas. All right, so we need to uh, drop down in here and find us a male panda. So as of right now, it does not look like we have the ability to adjust the time of day. So I do apologize about the night time, but the facility is really pretty at night. Still looking for a male panda. This would be one. He is an adult, so we can move him. And we need to move him to his new habitat, which is going to be uh, right over here, the red one. So it says set up the new panda habitat and use the filter to make sure that we get the correct item so we can filter out and go by species and just look for the panda okay so we have sorted by our giant panda and he is hanging out inside here and he needs some food enrichment and toy enrichment so let's start by looking at enrichment items and we can give him some toys and we're gonna put all the toys outside so of course the guests can see them playing with the toys couple of different bobbins maybe one here and one right over here and toy enrichment they are very happy with but feel like they need more to a rubbing pillar right over here now we need some food enrichment Ooh, the feeder the feeder's nice and fun we'll put that kind of in the center there and that takes care of all their enrichment needs so we can go with some places to feed them as well because i do not believe that they have anywhere in here to eat so let's go ahead and give them a couple of places all right so now we need to work on the terrain a little bit short grass wants a ton more of short grass we can get rid of all the long grass i believe they really don't like long Good grass news. At all. our new female pandas have been given a clean bill of health You'd best move them into the new habitat so they can settle in. And I hope you've made their habitat as comfy as possible, because animals will only breed if they're happy. All right, so we're going to need to go get our three pandas out of quarantine now. And we can go ahead and bring them right over here. And hopefully we can have another little baby panda. That would be wonderful. One way that we can do that so we don't have to go all the way over there is we can actually get a zoo. And then into animals location and go ahead and grab all three of those and just click move all at once and go ahead and bring them in here invalid destination invalid species what oh so it wants us to come over here and select them from this location it's going to force us to do it this way so we can go ahead and collect all three of them click move then come back across here and deliver oh, them bless I think they'll be really happy in there. 
fingers crossed we'll see some lovely new cubs sooner rather than later. Okay, I think it's time I told you all about work zones. I know, they don't sound as interesting as the animals, but trust me, they're ever so useful. So let's start by creating a new work zone and then assigning a keeper to it so that they know to look after the new pandas. And that really and truly is very important. I cannot tell you how many times I have neglected to set up a work zone only to suffer from that later. So we'll go into zoo and staff work zones. Now, click on new work zone. To set up your new work zone, I'll need you to select the highlighted habitat gate, staff room and keeper hut. Oh, and don't forget to name it something useful. <laughs> Once you're done, just go ahead and exit the work zone creator. And name it something useful, she says. How about work zone number 10? That's not useful? Okay, we'll name it something else. All right, so how about new panda habitat? Because, you know, why not, right? Now let's hire a new keeper and assign them to our new work zone. We don't want them getting distracted by other goings on in the zoo. Go on, hire one. I get to hire somebody? What? We choose you. Then click on your new keeper to bring up their information panel and go to their employment tab. At the bottom, you can assign them to your new work zone from the drop-down menu. New panda habitat. There you go. Now your keeper will focus his attention on our new pandas. Oh, and just so you know, all types of staff can be assigned work zones. Just make sure that they have access to all the buildings that they need. Oh, it sounds like the brand research has been completed. You should collect your rewards. And you can do that by clicking on the notification or by going back into mechanic research. All right, she's just full of helpful information today. Now that we've got our lovely new Just a Memento shop designed, you should build one of them near the zoo's exit. That way, the guests won't miss it on their way out, and we won't miss out on their money. Oh, wow. That way, the guests won't miss out, and we won't miss out on their money. We'll go into facilities and uh, guest facilities, of course, just a memento. And, of course, we'll just use the blueprint that they're giving us today and spin that dude around. All right, we'll just drop it down right in there. Frame modification failed. Love that. Oh, there we go. So wonderful that is. Anyway, I'm just off for a moment, but I'm sure I'll have some more jobs for you to look at shortly. I'm sure she will. Oh, those pandas look just adorable. <laughs> I can see why people keep foolishly forgetting that they're wild bears. And good work on that new gift shop branding. Back as promised. Right, I'd like you to increase the number of different species in the zoo. And if you're wondering how you're going to fit them all in, then mixed species habitats are a great way to save space and create interesting habitat. Just make sure to check the Zoopedia to find out which species enjoy living together. E.G. don't mix lions with antelopes. Oh Lord, she said E.G. All right, so let's take a look around and see if they have laid out an area where they actually want us to work this time or we have free room to go wherever we want to do that. I'm guessing they want us to utilize this space right in here because there's the property line once again. And that is the only place it looks like that they would potentially want us to utilize that. I love that right there. I'm a very, I'm a huge fan of the, um, they call it new age in the game, the new age building style. I am a huge fan of that. So, all right, let's go ahead back in here and take a look and see what animals do we want to get. And also, if she told us how many. Okay, so in order to achieve this, we need to have at least 18 species in the zoo. We currently have 15. Increase the average habitat species overall wellness to 90%. Improve the zoo for the guest and receive a zoo inspection report with an overall star rating of 2.5. Why do I feel like that'll be pretty easy in the zoo to accomplish? I'm going to take a moment and I'm going to take a look and see exactly which type of habitat that uh, we're going to be building today. And I'll be back with you in just a moment. All right, and welcome back. As you can see, I am back over at our giant panda exhibit. I'm just chilling right here for a minute. While I am chilling, though, I do want to say to CBRV1234, you got your monkeys last week. Well, I guess those are more in the eight family. Dean Money, one zero. This is just for you. All the pandas. You get all the pandas. Which, by the way, have been very happy while I've been away and building and just mating up a storm. We can actually go into our zoo and take a look at the pandas. We have eight 
ton of pandas just an absolute ton of pandas as you can see ranging from 3.4 years old and up well 2.6 years and up they are doing absolutely fantastic as you can see lin lin who was a baby in the beginning of this episode is now expecting offspring that has been great so while i've been gone i ran into some problems not over here but way up here on the hill i had the great idea to take something similar to that structure recreate it steal it use it whatever you want to say and turn it into a nice place for our guests to be able to come up and view our animals here however the animals that i plan to have were not available at all throughout the game i had to kind of change up my plan and so i went with the sable antelope which was already in the zoo i just moved it gave it a new home the black wildebeest and also the common warthog which are all having uh enrichment problems but i'm gonna go ahead and take care of that right now so this is the problem that i was running into if we go into uh animal trading and say I search for, I don't know, let's say I'm looking for a sable antelope and I put that in, they're literally none at all. That is kind of the problem that I was encountering. We can go ahead and grab another one of those and then see if there is a common warthog. No, no common warthogs at all either. While our sable antelope over here is suffering because its social group is not correct, I can't seem to fix that and the animal is stressed and trying to hide as well oh its social group is okay it's just stressed that's easy to fix okay i'm a fool that is super easy to fix we can simply click on this edit the barrier and we'll go to one way glass all the way around of course it helps if you do it on the right side all right and welcome back so what i ended up doing was just putting up some fencing along throughout here and then leaving this area right over here uh left this area one-way glass and this area it or two-way glass right here and this area is one-way glass so that the animal won't be too stressed uh one thing too is the guests actually do have the ability to walk up here and actually stand up there and look at that as a viewpoint so the only thing that we really need to do now is go ahead and work on some of the zoo alerts and get the animals do not be stressed why are you stressed everything is stressed all of a sudden why is everything stressed i'm gonna put up a couple of do not disturb signs and see if this will help the chinese penguin what penguin however you say that since apparently they're stressed all of a sudden if we can go ahead and help them why are you stressed overpopulated okay that would definitely be a reason to be stressed as well, I guess. Nobody likes it when their house is full of folks and they just won't leave. So we'll go ahead and release a couple of those back into the wild. If that helps him out with uh, with their stress levels a bit. It definitely should. Alright, so education speaker is too far away. That's because this is no longer the exhibit animal that it was. Or the habitat animal that it was. And it's not letting me change these, which is very, very frustrating. So I'm just going to delete it. If it's going to be like that and information board is incorrect probably is yep this information board is definitely wrong now so we will get rid of that this one right here is apparently incorrect we will get rid of it speaker 24 we'll get rid of it and that research Woohoo! <laughs> and our black wildebeest is stressed why is it stressed social group so let's go ahead and grab a male and throw in here and see if that will help with the social group in here and if it does we'll go ahead and get rid of one of the females because i inadvertently have two females in here and they are apparently not happy about that so we will store this young lady in the trade center and just wait on our male to come in that should have almost immediately improved this one social group too few adults and juvenile animals yeah it's worse but hopefully it will improve we finally have our first guest coming up and actually using the viewpoint that is wonderful let's go ahead and speed up time until we get our other black wildebeest in here go go meet everybody increase your social group all right so we finally have our social group up and when habitat is at risk for disease let's go ahead and do we have a there should be a caretaker assigned to this looks like they're coming right now to take care of that so we don't even have to worry about that let's see what else do we need to do to be able to complete this one increase average habitat species overall welfare to 90 percent who is suffering around here of course they're suffering which that should be taken care of here in just a minute. Yep, there they go. They're cleaning up now. We got the big old sucker out and 
sucking up everything. We're at 89%. I added some peafowls. I wonder if our peafowls are doing okay because they ended up getting placed into a habitat that uh, that another animal happened to have had. So uh, where did I put them peafowls? Those are flamingos. Well, there's more than one way to look up an animal. Here they are and they need some food enrichment because their food enrichment is horrible because this was not their habitat to begin with so i completely forgot about you peafowls i am so sorry so we will change this to the peafowl they have a forage box so they'll be good with that all they need for food enrichment is a the forage box maybe a second forage box then perhaps if we remove some of the things that they do not need that will make them much happier so they do not need a ball the chinese England. Where are the... Alright, here we go. Here's our peafowl. I don't know how it took me over to uh, the Chinese pangolin when I told it I wanted to see the peafowls, but you know. Low welfare. Why? Uh, hello? Where are you going? Can we get someone over here to capture this? I think it's about time to get a couple of more caretakers, and it will not let me call the vet. I just have to sit here and wait. All right, so I sat there for about a full day and just watched as that Indian peafowl ran around and nobody seemed to do anything nobody it took forever before someone would actually come and up it out so we're just gonna go ahead and take this one we're gonna box the animal this episode has just been absolutely nuts has attracted pro uh, protesters that's wonderful and i mean i understand it's hurt and nobody has taken it anywhere done anything for it so anyway where does it have us as far as the guest happiness? 89%. <laughs> You've got to be kidding. What else can we make happy in here? How are you guys? How are y'all feeling? Let's get you some food enrichment up in here. Flamingos. Looks like you've got everything humming away nicely. Oh, thank well goodness. Oh, well, it seems that with our new pandas and other species, we've attracted lots and lots of new guests. Let's work on making sure those guests are kept happy. That means making sure they have great views of the animals, lots of places to buy food and drink, and, well, lots of places to get rid of food and drink. Toilets. You should think carefully about where to put your guest facilities, though. For instance, don't put all of the food shops in the same place. Just look at how the guests are distributed around the park and put your facilities where they'll be needed the most. All right, so if we're taking a look at our heat map here for our guests, we can see that for the most part, everyone is good. Is there any one particular location where they do not really have access to a toilet? Not really. I mean, it's kind of scattered throughout. A lot of need over here, but it's quickly being taken care of. And we can check for energy that looks fine as well exactly what she wants us to do what exactly do you want us to do lady place a chief beef place a cosmic cow milkshake place an information center place a toilet place five bins and five benches okay fine all right and last but not least we need to place five bins but yeah my goodness today's episode has just been absolutely insane the game won't let us do half the things i uh, know i should be able to do i can't request things to come and take care of stuff I don't know what's going on with it. Oh, sounds like the inspector's almost here. Now, I fully expect you to pass with flying colors. Anything less, and I might have to organize a little job exchange scheme for you with whoever's mucking out the pandas. And of course, everything is waited until the inspector gets here to become stressed out all of a sudden. You know what? We're just going to go ahead and fast forward until the inspector leaves. But yeah, if you're enjoying the content, make sure you hit the like button. And if you haven't already and you would like to, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I do appreciate absolutely every one of you. It is now raining, which is great. But if you're still enjoying this, let me know down in the comment section. And if you're ready for us to start building our own zoos, let me know that as well. And we're still just following the inspector around, waiting to see what kind of grade we're going to get. How horrible is it? It looks like she might be about to leave. I don't know. She's checking out our new exhibit new habitat i keep wanting to call it an exhibit and it should tell us when she is leaving i know it used to i don't know if it still does oh, goodness you know i really can't believe just how much you've come on during our time together <laughs> it goes to show bernie's got a keen eye for talent oh and speaking of bernie he's not finished with you yet he's got a new job for you in canada I get the feeling that you'd best pack a warm coat. Oh, listen, 
It's been wonderful getting to know you, and I'm sure we'll meet again. But in the meantime, good luck. I am so glad to see this. Animal Market expanded. All species will now become available in the animal market. The faces of all of the guests. And that's a real testament to the hard work you've put into this place. And if anything, I hear the animals look even happier. <laughs> Although, in all honesty, it's, it's hard to tell with the pandas. They're so uh, <laughs> enigmatic. And, fingers crossed, we might even be able to feature pandas at some of my other zoos. Now that you've shown everyone, we know how to cater for their welfare. I shouldn't be surprised, though. After all, you've become a very capable trainee zoo manager. I suspect there isn't a single task I could throw at you which you wouldn't handle with a plum. That said, I think the next one's going to be a bit of a curveball. <laughs> oh, no. This one was definitely a curveball. You know, the inability to do a lot of things like I was saying earlier. But here you go. Here is a nice shot of our giant panda as we are on the way out. Don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel if you would like again thank you guys so much for watching i do appreciate it and as always i will see you in the next one